You're watching a special Fox weather presentation of Geraldo Rivera's coverage of Hurricane Gustav. There has been a measurable strengthening in this, uh, in this storm. Uh, there's nobody out except for some crazy media types and the National Guard and the New Orleans cops. Comes and goes, it's been like uh, in war, it would be like the enemy is sending its scouts out. I'm at uh, 54, now under 50. Uh, you know, we've had some gusts of uh, 56, so we're getting it. We're getting it. The French Quarter, the historic French Quarter, uh, has been abandoned like the rest of uh, New Orleans. Two million Louisianans, as you're reporting nearly, have left the city. The fury of Gustav, up close and personal. Stand up here if you can. Stand up right on that edge of it. I got you. I'm on the edge. Back up, back up. Back up and stand up here. All right, here it is. You're looking at the west side, the west bank of the Industrial Canal. You can see what Gustav is doing, the power in those concrete levees. So far holding, but I think we have to get to get back. Let's get beyond the flood. This wind is getting pretty good. I'm gonna brace myself here. You can see all up and down the downwind side of the levee. The water is beginning to overtop it, but the levees have not been breached. The walls are holding. All right, here are the ships that we think of the ships that have slipped their moorings. They're hard against the dock. Quite a 24 hours, but a lot more satisfying 24 hours than the time we spent here in Katrina three years ago, almost exactly. Uh, this, for all the, uh, the sound and fury, has had a magnificently happy ending, not obviously for everyone, but for the vast majority of people, despite the fact 